Hello, Michael Ann Noodles. Today is February 24th. It's a Tuesday, and I'm weighing in 181.4 pounds. Now, today's topic is uh, toothpaste and Oprah, which you may think, well, how do those fit together? Don't jump to the conclusion. They fit together all right. But first, I had always heard that whitening toothpaste was not good. And I thought, why? Why would this be? Let's find out. Let's investigate. And so I did. And, um, it turns out, uh, common consensus is that whitening toothpaste is fine. It's just, it's more abrasive, so if you have sensitive teeth, it may be like, Arr! on your teeth, you know what I mean? Arr! And one study did a, it did a study. Wait, okay, they found that the only toothpaste that, the only whitening toothpaste that actually whitened teeth significantly, um, uh, was the ultra-bright, all-in-one, advanced whitening, which was super cheap compared to some of the other ones. So, I'm not, you know, I'm not a paid representative of ultra-bright, but I'm certainly going to give them a try and see what's going on over there. Um, now, the, the, in, in that toothpaste, and in, and every, most other toothpaste, um, I found out that there's saccharin in one of those, one of the ingredients, you get to get a cancer? I don't want saccharin in my mouth. The other thing that's in there that surprised me is fluoride, which maybe that just proves how much of a dental dunce I am, but um, it uh, is apparently the only FDA-approved ingredient for preventing cavities, which I had no, I had no idea. But okay, so there's fluoride. By the way, I'm wearing a 4th of July shirt. Don't hate. It's almost July. I'm prepared. Fluoridation of the water supply has been called one of the top ten public health achievements in the past century. But yet, when I hear the word fluoridation, I get, ooh, little pangs right down. Why is that? Well, let me tell you. There are many groups who oppose fluoridation. When you put it in the water supply, it's not like in your toothpaste. The toothpaste just goes in your mouth, and then you spit it out. But when you put it in the water supply, you're ingesting it. And it's not an essential nutrient or anything like that. And statistics seem to be showing that um, income level is a much better indicator of dental hygiene levels than, um, than fluoridation of the water supply. So my motto is, when it comes to fluoride, just rub, don't swallow. Now let's bring this back to Oprah. Oprah does not use toothpaste, apparently. She uses baking soda? There are alternatives? Apparently there are. And Oprah is an alternative t tooth user. T cleaner teeth. Apparently she uses baking soda. You can use baking soda, you can use salt crystals. I don't know how, but you can use them. But apparently you can also use uh, different kinds of oils and a paste that you can craft from baking soda and food-grade hydrogen peroxide. Where does that leave us? I don't really know, but um, there's more to follow in the next episode of Vlog Robin.